The railway town of Eastleigh in Hampshire is forever associated with the construction and maintenance of locomotives and rolling stock, including the Bolero Locos from the United States. But like most of the railway works around the country, they diversified and were heavily involved in the war effort. For example, in 1938, producing parts to convert Blenheim bombers so that they could be used as fighters. A neglected aspect was the construction of landing craft in preparation for D-Day. Because the ports were heavily defended, the Normandy landings were necessarily on the beaches, which meant the development of special craft which were flat bottomed so that it could be safely beached and then relaunched successfully. In the Imperial War Museum film called The Birth of the Landing Craft, we can see how even boys were employed during construction. The film shows mechanized landing craft, LCMs, and LCSs, landing craft supports, LCPs, landing craft personnels, and a single 25-foot fast motorboat leaving the engineering works. The landing craft mechanized Mark 1 was 36 tons, approximately 50 feet long with high walls and a ramp. The driver and engine compartments were at the rear, which made it recognizable with a curved bow framing the ramp, pierced by openings to make it lighter. These improvised portholes were used for firing, but made the deck wet in heavy weather. The LCM was derived from a request by the Inter-Service Training and Development Centre in 1938 and was developed by John I. Thornycroft, LTD, at Walston on the River Itchen at Southampton. February 1940 saw the end of the trials and acceptance soon followed. It was propelled by two Thornycroft 60-horsepower petrol engines. Production models also used Chrysler inline six-cylinder crown petrol engines. Exhaust went through two sets of vents, port and starboard. They were capable of carrying up to a 60-ton tank or three platoons of infantrymen, approximately 100 men. The LCM came to prominence during the Second World War when they could be slung under the davits of a liner or on a cargo ship boom. The landing craft mechanized Mark I was used during the Allied landings in Norway and at Dia with some 600 being built. LCP's landing craft personnel, also shown in the film, were first used by the British and then the Americans. These craft measured between 20 to 38 feet long and transported between 18 and 36 soldiers. All made of wood, they were speedier than the LCM. A flotilla was based at HMS Tormenta at Warsash on the River Hamble and were used for landing raiding parties used by commandos on the enemy coast. In the film, craft are seen leaving the engineering works at Eastleigh, and an LCM transported by Pickford truck through the now Dock Gate 4 at Southampton, before being launched into the Southampton water, either at the eastern or western docks, probably to be loaded upon a troop ship ready for deployment on D-Day and Operation Overlord.